Oftentimes, people associate rationality with the ego. And I'm here to tell you that's not the case. Anybody knows that any system of logic, if you studied any philosophy, you know that any system of logic depends on your first assumption. Well, let me tell you, the system of rationality is not the problem. The system of rationality isn't the problem at all. It's spectacular. But if your system is logical and the ego is your first assumption, separation from God, your whole rational system is messed up. Because why? You have a faulty first assumption. But what if love is your first assumption? Like the Beatles said, all you need is love. Carol King, only love is real, everything else illusion. Okay, Carol, what if, what if love is the premise? What if love is the first cause? What if love is right there at the bottom of that entire rational system? That's why in A Course in Miracles, it's so deep that Jesus will use phrases like, reason will tell you. And he's talking about the Holy Spirit when he says, reason will tell you. I know that's not popular in a lot of spiritualities. Everybody wants to throw reason out. and Just feel the love, David. Just feel the love. Don't talk us, us, us about thoughts, just feel the love. Well, I have to tell them that your feelings come from your thoughts and don't ignore your cognition and don't ignore those thoughts because all those feelings come from thoughts. And they say, yipes, I, I was trying to ignore those thoughts and pretend they didn't even exist, you know, and oh, that's part of the head. Get out of your head, get out of your head. No, 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 no. Don't ignore thought. Jesus is telling us that Christ is an idea in the mind of God. God actually thunk us up. <laughs> so be careful <laughs> when you start to ignore thoughts and the power of thoughts because who you are is a thought in the mind of God. So don't downplay thoughts too much. Because in the end, you're going to be feeling a little foolish. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I was just going to feel my way back into heaven. Ooh. No. And what's underneath those thoughts? What is actually underneath those thoughts are beliefs. Your, your beliefs determine your thoughts. You can believe things about your thoughts. Wow, that's pretty important. You can even believe your thoughts are ineffectual. You can believe your thoughts don't mean anything. And ultimately, all egoic thoughts don't mean anything. <laughs> That's, these thoughts do not mean anything. That's a workbook lesson. But if you believe and you dismiss the power of thought, you are also dismissing the power of your mind. And believe me, even though I know Eckerd and Muji and all of them talk about, let go of the mind. Listen, this is Jesus Christ talking to us. You've got to lay aside all the things you've learned. And that's why I say don't mix metaphysics. Don't try to go mixing this with Advaita Vedanta and don't try to mix this with a bunch of other pathways. There's a lot of pathways that talk about Christ consciousness. And in The Course in Miracles, Jesus says, Consciousness is the domain of the ego. Okay, now try putting those words together. Christ consciousness. Christ domain of the ego. Hmm? <laughs> so, this goes super deep. This is going to, I'm asking you now, you're going to have to, if you really give yourself over to this, I don't want you to start mixing in a bunch of other stuff that's extraneous. Because I will guarantee you if you do, you are bringing upon delay. And delay is unknown in heaven, because there is no time, but it's tragic in time. <laughs>